Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to Changed. I just almost knocked my tray over, moving it back to where I'm sitting. <sighs> because I'm once again up really early in the morning to drop Kirsty off at work for what is not her normal shift. <clears throat> and as you can see, I went through, I went ahead and got through that the, the crazy of that that makes all the noise before starting to record because I'm going to try to get two endings in this front at least. I already know there is one choice I didn't pick in the next room waiting for me and I also have been hinted at pretty heavily that there is an invisible third choice to make Even if only by like one statement, Matt told Matt told me that if I that after I've chosen the other thing, he'd tell me how to get the other end, the real, the good ending. And that's fair. Don't give away don't give away actual secrets until after everything until after other all other options have been exhausted. But I'm starting to think that. But I want to experiment with it first. Because I think I've seen this kind of thing before in Silent Hill and 3 and actually the original Final Fantasy. And I'll explain it after reading through this ending. Because, oh, not next room, then two rooms away. Talkie, talkie, talkie. Yeah, we went through the talkie and how you really appreciate all my help and company. Okay, yeah, and I read this note last time, too. That's just like a motivational poster, really. <laughs> so many doors leading from this one little lobby area. What is it, like those two doors with windows at the bathroom? You don't have doors with windows at the bathrooms. Then there's the elevator, then there's the door I came from, then there's another side lab and another two side labs. Maybe those two are the bathrooms. I don't know. Doo -doo. Well, hello, Dr. K. Now I gotta go through your super long spiel again. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't wanna I don't wanna just randomly tap the space bar to get through this super quick because you know <laughs> If I tap one too many times, that'll just make the cho that'll just make the choice when it pops up. But since I'm ignoring the dialogue anyway, I'll explain. Some games have you remember something that was just a little out of place from the beginning in order to get the good ending or an ending at all in the case of games with only one ending that use this trick? When I was talking with Matt, I remember the example of Silent Hill 3, where your character, Heather, is impregnated, is forcibly impregnated near the beginning of the game with this god of malice. And while this remains a plot point throughout the entirety of the game, it's only referenced that way once at the beginning of the very beginning of the game. You know what else is only really referenced at the beginning of the game? Or actually not referenced at all, but is a consistent thing throughout the entire game. A bell, or at least I think it was a bell. There's this memento that Heather keeps on her from someone important in her life that's not in her life anymore. And it's sweet that she has it. If you try to use this item throughout the course of the game, it actually is an item that takes up an inventory space. I, I don't think you had a limited inventory spaces in that game, but... It... <laughs> In any case, an item that actually shows up in your inventory, and if you use it, all that really happens is that Heather will take it out, look at it, reminisce a little bit. It's sweet, but really just a waste of time when you're trying to escape this nightmare hellscape that is Silent Hill. That town really is a nightmare hellscape. <laughs> and so it seems like an item that's just there to add some flavor to the game. 
but that nags at me when I see it in the game. Items that are just there for flavor, because you think that if you can see it, if you can interact with it, it's important to something. Whether it's a side quest, or the main plot, or a secret ending, or something. Well, when you get to the ending of Silent Hill, there's a final encounter with the lady who was responsible for you having this god ba this evil god baby in you in the first place. <clears throat> if you try to shoot her, or attack her in any way, the malice you feel for this other woman feeds that thing enough that it's born at full power, you die, game over, you just failed at the end of the game for doing what you what the game's taught you to do all along is fight everything, fight or run from everything. And instead, what you're supposed to do is go and use that bell, that little memento from your past that is a symbol of love for Heather. <coughs> <clears throat> and she swallows it. An act that seems pretty nonsensical in most scenarios, but what she's doing is exposing that god of malice to the love she feels for... Oh, it's time. I'll, I'll, st I'll stop for a second while I explain. She's exposing that god of malice to the love she felt for the person who gave her that memento. And that makes the god be born in a weakened state, vulnerable to harm from normal everyday weapons. So you can actually fight back. <coughs> Instead of it just ripping you apart when it's born. I think this is like that, that there is something I missed from the beginning of the game, or something I noticed in the beginning of the game that seemed off, but kind of wrote off because I just didn't want to waste too much time on it. And I'll get into the Final Fantasy example after uh, we see the to leave option. Because, I, as I mentioned to Matt, I'd rather try to figure out myself than just get the answer handed to me. And I think I already have a guess of what it might be, because when I tried the controls at the beginning of the game, something seemed off there. So what happens if we choose to... Oh, no, I picked to leave left. I'm dumb. I'm going to pause the recording if I can remember my hotkeys to do so, and <clears throat> I'll be right back with you when I'm in that room. Whoop. Oh, it defaulted to the save I made in the one spot. So yeah, if I remember my hotkey to pause recording. That didn't work, did it? And I touched a thing. <clears throat> okay, here we are back again. Found my pause button, which is great. That's the closest I really get to editing is when I will pause is when I will pause what I'm doing and start back up the same session. So this time Choosing to stay, if I would have just spammed space, I would have went for that anyway because it's the, you know, top option. So this is your choice. Our promise. Our friendship. Our efforts. Are you abandoning them, human? Human, are you afraid? Human? You should be able to understand his decision. He is human, after all. He's a human, so he will sacrifice for the humans. Failed sample. Do the same in his place. The human has made the right choice. It may seem unfair to you, but this is the only way. I'm sorry. Human. Since it's your decision, I'll accept it. I know, compared to my ridiculous dream, your species' survival is much more important. I don't blame you, human. I can complete my remaining journey alone. This is true, but I mean, it's kind of sad stopping and making him go without us. But no matter what, please do what you believe is right. No matter the decision, I will always support you. I trust you. I trust you will always do the rest, the best thing. I'm leaving. I, I've reached here because of you. You'll stop here, but I'll keep going. This is my purpose, my dream, 
Please don't worry about me, human. Stay here. When you've proven to be healthy, everything will be okay. And I'll be waiting outside. We'll see each other again. Yay! You, the masked one. What is it? Don't hurt the human, okay? As if I'm that cruel. You tried to get. You tried to lock me in a cage where I just ended up getting killed, ended up dying of starvation if left in there too long because you, you're kind of a jerk. If I wanted, I could have killed him while he was anesthetized. Such a problem with big words with thick syllables. But I was once human too. I couldn't possibly do that. It would have been a kinder fate than letting me starve in that in that blocked off room unless you were planning on delivering me food every day. I still don't trust him. Ah, my eye itches too much. I can't read everything. So you've got to be careful on your own, okay, human? If something goes wrong, just escape. Promise me. Do I seem that untrustworthy? Yes, you totally do. I mean, I didn't even want to pick this choice, but just to see all the endings, I'm picking it. Human, I, I'm going now. I don't know why my eyes so itchy this morning. Thank you for your companionship. You just need to be safe. That's all that matters to me. This little dark monster will remember you forever. Oh, that's so sweet. Puro is your friend forever. I also saw a video someone did with having like desktop pros wandering around on his computer and hijacking his his window his windows as he was recording and playing trying to play games. It was cute and weird. Yeah, sacrifices are essential. You made the relatively correct choice. I appreciate it. I understand that you are actually very unwilling to do it. But your sacrifice will not go to waste. I am happy that the rationalism of human of humanity was won. I promise I'll treat you well here, as long as you won't leave. That is, you you can do anything you want. All right, all right, come with me. I'll need to think about where you'll go now. You could choose to go back to your capsule. You could hibernate until I devise a way to detect the virus. I'm already working on fixing the capsule. I believe you will it will be ready soon. Don't feel too much pressure. Shadow, what are you doing? If you don't want to go back to sleep, you could also live with me. I'm very lonely, too. I had to act fierce because I had no other choice. I hope you can forgive me. Okay. You expect me to be BFF suddenly because, you know, I decided to save humanity instead of have freedom? Follow me. This will certainly make both our lives interesting. Would you like to have breakfast with me? I mean, food. <laughs> I guess. Food. He's gonna put so he's gonna roofie me and put me back in my capsule anyway. That's what it's gonna do. I'm sorry, Burrow. Well, that was a rather short ending. I'm glad I. I'm glad I decided not to just do this ending as its own video, because if I hadn't gone on that spiel about my motivation for wanting to s study or try to experiment with stuff from the beginning of the game, I that would have ended up being, like, what, a less than five minute video? Maybe five minutes if I'm lucky? And we're back here again. Okay. So we go there regardless. That's just the ending state. And rather than go reload the save right away, I'm actually going to go back to the beginning. I'll pause recording again so you guys don't get... Well, this didn't take too long. Oh. As long as it still gives me a list of the controls at the beginning... Oop. Okay, that's not an important save. God. Oh, I almost gave myself a heart attack that I might have saved over my save at the end of the game just as I was about to record endings of the game. <laughs> I forgot that it makes you pick a save file when you start a new game. Oh, oh it's been that long. Well, it's been about six hours. 
Okay. Oh yeah, that's locked. I gotta open this up. Or let that be aware of my presence so Mr. Slamame comes out. Come on. Come on. I remember. I remember how I got rid of you. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. And then I can go hit the button and go look at those controls and try each of the buttons. Because I want to say something stood out to me with the control. And Shadow's eating our tree. Just a second. Sorry about the interruption, guys. Girls. People of other genders. It's never good when a cat's eating your Christmas tree. <laughs> okay, so right here we can see the controls. Up, down, left, right, movement keys, shift to run, space to interact with stuff, also Z, because this is RPG Maker. Escape. F1, F12, and Alt and Enter. Alt and Enter moves it to full screen. F12 resets when you're in the middle of being eaten. Okay, so what does F1 do? F1 brings up these game properties that are in Korean or... I'm an uncultured American swine to whom all the written Asian languages look the same. <laughs> but Escape. Escape was listed on the controls but does nothing. Does that seem out of place to anyone else here? I mean, I think that I, I think I can safely speak for just about everyone when I say that that seems out of place for everyone. Or should seem out of place. That they bother lifting a control that does nothing. And while we're going through all this again, instead of pausing, I'll bring up the Final Fantasy example. Those who have played the original Final Fantasy, start to, fi uh, start to finish, I know we're getting into really old game territory, like games as old as I am territory. In the original Final Fantasy, after you completed was essentially the first quest of the game and saved Princess Sarah from Garland, she rewards you with a lute. That's L-U-T-E, not L-O-O-T. It's the musical instrument, so instead of, you know, actual reward, like you think a royal would have real money or some, benef or some be beneficial reward, no, a lute. But she tells you the loot special, that it has been in her family for generations, and it supposedly has the power to banish evil. Oh, that's great. Can I just use it to auto-kill every boss? Can I use it to protect, to protect myself from random battles? No, none of that. If you, use it outside of, if you use it outside of its intended time, you play this little jingle, not jingle, this little, basically jingle, a little fanfare or whatever, on the loot, and it's cute and all, but essentially useless. She gave you an item with just flavor value for saving her life from this crazy ex-guard captain. Well, just near the end of the game, once again, <laughs> if you were to use the loot, well, no, I'm getting ahead of myself. You have to access a part of the Temple of Fiends, Temple of Chaos, whatever they rename it, and whatever re-release of the game you play. Originally it was the Temple of Fiends, and I liked it that way. <laughs> but when you return to the Temple of Fiends, because you've been everywhere in the world, so there's nowhere that really makes sense to go, except back to where the story all started, where Garland had the princess kidnapped. Behind Garland, there is this, like, the sprites weren't that, weren't that um, detailed in, that, in the day, so I'm not even sure what it was, but there was this single space-wide thing that, if you examine it, all that you can really find out from examining it is that you, d is that you sense an evil force here. Ringing any bells? So, you use the loot, 
and that evil force is dispelled, revealing a time portal. Because the plot of Final Fantasy, of the original Final Fantasy, was all over the place, much like the plot of all the newer Final Fantasies. <laughs> to be honest, if I had to pick a single Final Fantasy to say that this one actually makes sense, it'd probably be Final Fantasy VI. <laughs> Even though my favorite was my favorite was number four. I don't like the newer ones just because they're getting too action heavy for me, and. The characters are getting too unlikable for me. <laughs> I mean, have you guys even have any, have any of you even taken a moment to think about Snow as a character? Ah! I could not stand live, being neighbors with that guy, let alone fighting on the same team as him. <laughs> So let's try escape here in the in the. Let, let's assume escape is our loot or our memento, in and try it here when we're prompted with this choice, because sometimes the best choice is not making a choice. And there's not a lot of cases where that's the where that situation is true, but. You can escape out of the menu! I imagine escape is the same as X, because this is RPG Maker, but yeah. So it's too hard to decide. That's true. No matter what you choose, it will still be bring pain. Listen, I've got an idea. Little guy, are you willing to abandon your humanity? Sure! Wait a minute. I know what you're going to say. You want to transfer this human, right? Doesn't that research doesn't the research say that the consciousness of the transferred humans is weakened or even lost? How did you think I still possess my consciousness? Though we haven't succeeded in curing humans, we've devised a way to cure other species. If the patient is not human, the disease can be cured easily. As long as you're willing to sacrifice, I can provide you with the drug I injected myself with. The result of me and my colleagues' research. It allows you to be transferred without altering your brain structure. After that, treatment will be easy. Once you finish your treatment, you'll be able to leave here with your sample friend. I can even lend you some food and supplies, as long as you comply. Please. I have racked my brain to think of one last solution. That's all I can do. Please consider carefully. It's a small, just a small sacrifice. Yeah! What do you think, human? Do you trust him? I don't want to believe him. Maybe he's just stalling for time. We don't know anything about this treatment, what he's trying to harm, or, or if he's trying to harm you. Moreover, human, do you really want to become, become like us? I won't care how you look, but you'll be changed permanently. Aw, oh, sweet Perot. No, it's probably for the better that I Get, that I get a guaranteed immunity from this thing. So let's forget it. I'm sorry, Math Man. We've decided. <clears throat> Human, you agree? Yep. After all, it's one of the solutions that I proposed before we even got this far. That instead of locking me up and treating and just letting me die, he could have made me a sentient f furry, too. Really, you're willing. You nodded. Human, have you thought of this out thoroughly? You may never get used to your new body, and you don't even know the risks. This method with no take back, this is a method with no take backs. So you'll be changed for life. Have you really decided? I don't think that you would agree. That's great. <laughs> Don't laugh now. I won't move an inch from the from the human if you try to pull anything. I'm gonna. Never mind. Let's start as soon as possible. Since you decided, we can now begin the treatment. However, you'll probably be very bored sitting in bed for days with only an IV drip. The failed sample may come with me too. Sorry for attacking you earlier. I have no other. I had no other choice. Can you not call me a failed sample? It's angering me. 
Fair enough. That's the. That's not important. Follow me. You're a jerk, Mr. Dr. K person. Let's go to my lab. You know, on one human, I'll keep an eye on him. Toro will absolutely, absolutely protect you. Don't worry about it. I, I, I will follow right behind you. You know, having this, this clinical detachedness from any emotional judgments is important for doctors, but also so is having good bedside manner. At least if you're a good, if you're a medical doctor, you decided to accept the treatment. You lie on the bed comfortably. This is your first chance, the first chance you've had to get a decent rest in a long time. <sighs> the needle misses your veins a couple times. The doctor was out of practice. Finally, the needle successfully injects one of your blood vessels. Needles. The drug flows through your body drop by drop. Next, you'll only you only need to wait quietly. Perro is watching you peacefully from the bedside. It's very quiet. The only sounds of the whole room are just subtle drips of the drug. You stare at Perro, stare into his cloudy pupils. He feels a little bit shy, turning his head to the other side. Time is passing tick by tick. Oh, this is the longest of the endings. Sleeping just floods over your mind. You gradually fall asleep. But yeah, I knew the whole suspicious thing from the beginning of the game was a thing. Just knew it. And it's not an uncommon practice. I only thought of those two examples, but it's been in gaming for, well, as long as gaming's been a thing. These trick and these little tricks that you have to remember for the end of the game to be able to make your way through. A long, long dream. In the dream, you try to escape the pursuit of a skull-headed figure in panic. You're so scared, running everywhere, you can't, you can think to hide. There's nobody, no one to help you, nowhere to run. You curl up helplessly on the ground, hoping not to be seen. But you're eventually discovered. Those huge pale bone claws seize your shorts and pull the... Um, this is getting into risque territory very quickly. It's just a dream. What kind of dreams does this human have? How long has it been? Your body feels so heavy. Hi, Perro. Is it not a dream? The figure has chased you from your dream. No, that's Perro. Perro. Human is such a sleepy head. You slept for days. You've made me so worried. You smile, embarrassed. Your tail is pressed under your butt. It's already feeling numb. Tail? Quit laying down. Get up and look at your new body. So fluffy. I am so fluffy! It's not uncomfortable. It's different than you expected, but it feels alright. Human is so cute. Pearl witnessed you slowly transform. It, it's so wonderful. Have you forgotten anything? Any weird impulse? Not at all. I feel horrible! Or mentally, anyway. You're awake. No allergies, no mutations. You're lucky. You're in a cold sweat. <laughs> now that you've finished your treatment, everything's fine now. By the way, I managed to find a host for your friend. We had a bio-robot that we originally planned to test viruses with. Bio-robot is also the same as a regular human, but it was never alive. Therefore, your dark electric friend doesn't need a host anymore. Yay! So both Perro and I get to live long, full, healthy lives. I've done all I can. Now you two can leave from here. Congratulations. Your treatment was a success. Human. You should probably stop calling me that at this point. Now I'm a white light text thingy. I'm so relieved. Really? You suddenly jump from bed, not used to your strong new legs. You immediately are catapulted to the floor. <laughs> Everyone's laughing. Okay, I was gonna just say everyone's laughing at me, but then it said I you're laughing too, so 
everyone's laughing at the clumsy new white latex fur thing. You and Pearl have left the building. The masked man, who calls himself K, K, yeah, that was already spoiled by the Steam card, remained, but promised to help you well in need. You said you could buy us, came to the hall, and opened the gate. Is that it? Black ending? Light fills your eyes. It's sunrise now. Flame red light burns on the horizon. What a coincidence that we're leaving at the exact same time we would have left, or the exact same time of day we would have left if we just left. Different from the harsh flares and lights you're used to, it's the sun of the rising sun. From here is the text all the same as the leave ending. Standing on real soil, we've really done it, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Stepping on the light green grass, you and your new friend gradually start moving. The tower is slowly being veiled by another ruin, yeah. Everything feels natural, full of life, yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear you talk, we always smiles. Direction of the rising sun. I'm checking for any differences as we go along rather than just reading everything. Probably going not going to be any differences until the point where your character, where, where the human and the last version of this ending would have. You aren't used to your new body. These strongest can easily step too far. You've tripped many times on the road. You're feeling tired now. Even are you tired? Don't push yourself. There's a rock over there. Let's take a rest. Okay, so you still get tired at essentially the same spot. Except we have a different, probably different picture here yet with the furry ears. You succeeded. The world is so beautiful. I finally experienced it. I fulfilled my dream. It's all thanks to you, human. Human is so brilliant. Except I'm not human anymore, so you can stop calling me that if you want to. Being with a friend is such happy to happiness. I can't see any more rocks or rubble from here. I only see the roundness of the rising sun. It's bright, so bright. Okay, from completed from the balcony. Now we're back to the tech to the text being all the same. The reliable friend. Human, you're also feeling happy, right? But this time, I can answer him because I'm not dying. Okay, so yeah, it's pretty plain that I did die in the last ending. <laughs> Both from the name of the achievement for getting the last ending that I didn't see till after I... Till what, just before I started recording today. And... I'm so happy, Perot. Alrighty. So there we have it. We have these. This is the, this. We have those three endings, but the fact that I don't that I don't have all the achievements tells me that there are early game overs as well that I haven't gotten yet, and those I'll probably play through to get off camera. Because you probably don't want to watch the whole game again, and I cannot predict where they all are <laughs> without looking at some kind of guy that has spoilers of where uh, uh, of where to find them. So I'm pretty sure they have to do with not being friendly enough to Puro, and the, so you don't get his help at some vital parts of the game. But let me let me pause to think for a minute of where those moments were. Um. Well, obviously there's the points where he saved you from all the latexy things in where he ran ahead to, to get the white latex to chase him in the one room, where he pushed, where he threw you, tossed you in the more in the near the end of the game rooms. Oh, um. oh, and where he pushed a box in one of the in one of the other earliest in one of the like mi very very middle of the game rooms. So 
So I guess I'll try to get each to, to each of those points without being friendly enough to Puro and see what happens then without his help to progress. And maybe I'll record and those will be a little like less than five minute fun sized videos for just seeing if for what those endings are, if there are endings with those points for failing to be nice. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw today, and I hope to just squeeze that little bit more of, fun, of fun, finding fun, interesting things out of this game before I move on to the next one. I've already kind of decided that I'm going to try this game called Sweet 776 that Kiersey saw Markiplier play, and... I, while in the room, was trying to ignore it because I don't really like having games straight up spoiled for me because then they're spoiled for you if you watch me play them, and it's just all kinds of wrecked. And I've rambled enough, so bye, everybody! <laughs>